Welcome to another edition of Reading Phillies Web Talk. I'm Matt Spezletti, filling in for Brian Seltzer. I'm here with Reading Phillies outfielder Juwan James. Juwan, thanks for coming on. Thank you. Last week, I know you've answered a lot of questions about it. The catch. You're going up, hit your glove, your glove goes over. How did you end up with the ball in your right hand? I really don't know. I mean, like you said, once it hit my uh, glove or whatnot and fell down, I was actually mad. Like, as soon as it hit my glove, I'm thinking right then, like, I just missed my chance to rob a home run. And then, like, when it fell, I remember kind of reaching for it a little bit, but that's actually all I remember. And then once I hit the ground, it was I had a firm grip of it in my hand. So I'm like, I must have caught it somehow, and I just showed it to the umpire and he called him out. When you got home, you know, everything settled down. When did you realize, wow, I'm seeing myself all over Sports Center and all that? Probably about, I guess, 2 o'clock that morning. That's when everybody started texting me and sending me stuff on Facebook and Twitter and all that. And my phone just started going off, like, completely until that next night. And then, so I stayed up to 3 o'clock that morning to watch it for myself. And that's pretty much, that was the first time I saw it. And then after that, it was... I don't know, just that whole next day on the bus trip because we left that next day and whatnot. And of course, we watched sports on the bus, and I've seen it a couple times on the trip. How'd it feel to uh, be on the sports center with you know the big leaguers making all those plays? <laughs> uh, I don't know. I mean, it was it was fun watching it for myself, but I try not to make too much of it because I mean I still got work to do in order to get to the big leagues. I mean, one play ain't go make that happen. I know you had another exciting play on June 9th inside the park home run. If you had to pick, which was more exciting for you? I'll take the catch. <laughs> the catch was a little bit more exciting. I mean, the fans might be, I don't know. I'll take the catch. I'm leaving it out. Yeah. Uh, switching gears, you entered the Philadelphia system as a pitcher. Uh, you got hurt. 2008 had to miss a season. You know, what was like that going through, you know, being, not being able to play? That was terrible. I mean, that's the first time I've ever really been hurt and missed time playing. I mean, that was my first injury ever and that was kind of tough to deal with I mean I'm used to always playing and always being on the field so that was kind of a reality check I guess I mean letting you know that everything's not going to always be given to you and you just got to can't take anything for granted I mean you got to take everything day by day and just be thankful for what you have. When did they come to you with the suggestion of making you into an outfielder? Uh, I actually brought it up to them during the whole arm injury thing it was Instructs 2008 and I was rehabbing and whatnot, and I think I threw maybe two innings that instructs, and my arm started hurting again, and that's when I just felt like I'm done with it. I mean, I'd rather play the outfield and see if I can make it that way instead of trying to just keep going through the same thing over and over. You know, what was it like in your first game in Williamsport? You know, you're not pitching anymore, coming off the injury. You had any first game jitters? Uh, not really. I mean, we played a whole lot down in extended spring training. So, I mean, I had gotten, gotten used to playing every day again. So it wasn't really that big of a deal. I just went out and played ball. Uh, last year, Joe Savory was your teammate. Uh, you guys kind of went through the same thing. Did you guys share, uh, share any suggestions or talk about it at all? Uh, not really. I mean, we both kind of uh, we just looked at it in a different way. I mean, we knew it was something different from bo uh, both of us, actually. But as far as really talking about the whole thing, we... Never did really have any like deep conversation into it. So I mean, it was just it was fun for both of us. I mean, we both enjoyed hitting, so it was like, I mean, let's do it. Really, that's, that's it. You know, four years later, looking back at it, you know, what was the biggest adjustment turning into an outfielder? I don't know. I guess just repetition, really. I mean, me playing outfield, that was just kind of that went smooth. I mean, it was just the fact of getting more at bats and getting comfortable in the box again. So. I think the whole thing is just taking my approach to the plate and trying to make adjustments from there. And Darren Ruff and Tim Kennelly, Steve LaRue, they've all pitched this year. Has the coach ever come to you and say, hey, can you throw an inning for us? No, I'm pretty sure that's pretty much over with, with the way my arm was hurting whenever I was pitching. So I doubt if I'll ever see the mound again. I'll get you out of here on this one. Uh, you're a big Twitter guy. Almost 19,000 tweets. You know, you share your life to you know, all your followers. What, what enjoyment do you get from interacting with your fans, giving everybody a taste of your personal life? Uh, I kind of look at it as if I was a fan. I mean, when I first got on Twitter, I was following, first person I followed was uh, Chad Johnson. Well, he's Chad Johnson now, but and he was just funny to me. And I figured, I mean, that's pretty much the way to go about it. I mean, if you're a fan and you want to try to interact with the guys, I mean, the whatever you want to call it, celebrities and whatnot. And, I mean, you go feel like that's pretty cool. So I try to take the same approach and just try to 
talk to everybody, really. I mean, let them know what's going on. And I talk to a lot of people from home, too. So, I mean, it's just one way to stay in touch and just, I don't know, just kind of give them an inside view, really. Thanks, Juwan. I appreciate your time. Good luck the rest of the season. Thank you. Juwan James, and that would be it for the web edition, and we'll see you next week.